If you want to associate with only those people that are going to always agree with you, how will you grow? Hello, motherfuckers. Thanks for joining. We'll be discussing fitness, fashion, and ways to focus on greatness. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll know when I upload new videos. Today, I just want to discuss having yes men around you. So I found that with social media, that it becomes very problematic when people don't agree with your opinion and they find that you're a hater or you're just jealous, things of that nature. And why it's problematic is if you want to associate with only those people that are going to always agree with you, how will you grow? There's no room for growth if everyone's giving you a high five with every statement that comes out of your mouth and every outfit that you wear and every decision that you make. There's no room for you to grow and anything that does not grow is dead. There's no point in you waking up tomorrow if your intentions are to do the exact same thing you did yesterday, the week before, and the month before, and the year before. I know I do not want to surround myself with anyone that has not allowed room for growth in their life. Now, am I saying that you have to uh, agree with everything someone says and you have to take in everyone's opinion? Absolutely not. But what I find the problem is if someone disagrees with you, it's not a battle. It's not a personal attack on you or your livelihood. It's just a difference of opinion. You can very well listen, still disagree, and still be respectful. Um, however, if there is an issue and someone is trying to pull your coattail and say, hey, you know what, Lori, um, you know, that just doesn't sit well with me or that's just not right. You should take heed to that and be okay with learning, with growing. If, um, you know, if you know that you're wrong in your heart and your soul, stop being okay with people that won't tell you when you're wrong. So, for example, let's just say you are having an affair and you share that with your girlfriend and she's high-fiving you or she doesn't really say anything although in your in her mind she's not on board with it you just put her in a compromising position and if you're that girlfriend you need to step up and say hey you know what Lori that's not right you need to take care of your relationship remove yourself from the relationship or move on in that fashion because you're hurting families, you're hurting lives. And it doesn't necessarily have to be cheating. It could be um, stealing or just not doing your best. Surrounding yourself with yes men will only hold you back in life. It's not going to, um, it's only going to hinder everything that is your goal, that is your aspiration. If you know full well that losing weight is an aspiration of yours, don't surround yourself with people that are going to constantly invite you to brunch, that don't have the uh, best health habits and things like that. You, when you are, um, when you have an immediate circle, what happens is they're going to pull you down or you're going to lift them up or vice versa, whatever aspect of life it may be. If you have someone in your inner circle that is smarter than you, what's going to happen is either they're going to dumb themselves down or you're going to get try to reach their level, read a little more, learn a little more. Um, and that's with any relationship, a man-woman relationship, a friend relationship, mother-child, whatever it may be. Those are really the only two options in life. You're going to either lift yourself up or someone's going to drag you down. So you need to choose wisely who you want to surround yourself with. And that's very important in life. You know, I've heard people say, well, she's not on my level. I'm not hanging with her. You weren't once on your level. So don't think of it as, oh, I could never associate with myself with someone that's not pretty as me or not smart as me or um, not have the same title 
for a position as, as I do. Because there's always something you can learn from someone or something you can teach to someone. So what I try to do in my life is surround myself with someone. If you see somebody with me or I'm associated with someone, trust and believe they're better at something than I am. And I appreciate, I embrace growing and embrace learning. And you know, I, I hope that they do the same for me. And that's how we can be successful and be productive citizens in the world. Let me know what you guys think. How do you guys feel about it? Do you enjoy uh, surrounding yourself with guest men? Do you find that that's your flow in life? Or are you okay with your friends and or family pulling your coattail and saying, hey, you know what? This isn't right. No, I don't agree with it. And do you actually listen to the advice before you respond? Let me know and make sure to subscribe again, as always. These are my opinions, not the law. Thanks.